What's up guys, as promised I am back with part 2 um, This is the Marvel selection of my whole week um, I'm very fortunate this week, I actually managed to get to the comic shop on a Wednesday for a chance Even though this is a video on Thursday, never mind um, The only reason I'm bringing it a day late is because I thought I would actually read them um, and Just give a few thoughts on them I'm not necessarily tell you what happens because I don't like that But there's my Marvel selection look It's not massive, but it's good I really like it. Um, so, without further ado, let's get on with it. So, first up was Battle of the Atom, Battle of the Atom, Chapter One. Can you see that? There you go. Um, really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. I am an X Men freak. Uh, I love the X Men. Uh, so, anything with X Men in, I'm good. And especially when it does uh, future versions of themselves and time travel and all that sort of stuff. I love it. So, and I think this is playing very nicely into the, the forthcoming X Men film that's going to be out uh, next year. So, I'll give you a bit of time travel. I'm not saying it's the exact same as not, because we all know it's a totally different story, but it gets the new reader used to time travel and consequences and stuff, so it's quite cool. Um, and I've got Battle of the Atom in all new X Men, uh, all new X Men issue 16, but Battle of the Atom chapter 2. And again, it's great. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Um, some people are not liking it. They're saying it reads better as um, it read better as a trade, which it probably will. To be fair, um, I was very fortunate. I managed to pick the the, th the first three chapters up and read them all at once. Um, about um, X Men issues uh, S five. That's chapter three about them. Um, what I can say about this is um, you got Jean Grey on the cover there. And if you were in any doubt that they were bringing about for good, um, that doubt is now squashed. They are bringing about for good. They, I can't see why they wouldn't be. And there's also an inclusion of a new character, which sort of fills a bit of a gap as well, which is quite cool. So all in all, if you're not reading the, these about uh, them, I know some of you guys don't care about it, but I really am enjoying this, and I really recommend it. Um, it's, it's just a nice, well-paced story. Uh, not much has happened, mind you, but it doesn't matter. I've enjoyed what has happened. Next up, we have Daredevil uh, Dark Knights parts four of six. I think this is it was issue four, but it's part four of six essentially. We've got the shock on the front cover there. Um, I'm not sure about this issue to be honest. Um, the previous issues all made sense. Um, this one, I'm kind of thinking, hmm, what's going on there? I'm not really sure. It's okay. Um, I'm not a daredevil person, so I wasn't really fussed to be honest. But the first three issues are so much better than this, and it's kind of weird how um, this is sort of it, it just feels like this feels like it has nothing to do with the previous issues. So I don't know, weird. Um, Deadpool kills Deadpool issue three of four. Um, thank God there's only one more issue of this. I'm not really enjoying this at all to be honest. Um, for the fact it wasn't a full part, I, I think I would have dropped it. Um, I thought issue one was okay, sure it good. I thought two was okay. Um, this one I thought was just pants, I thought it was rubbish. Um, I'm not a Deadpool guy, not really. Um, I can appreciate what he is, but I just, no. Um, I've got a feeling, um, if you are a regular Deadpool guy, you pick up the, the the ongoing series. I think you'd be disappointed with this. That's my opinion. I think you would be disappointed. Um, I just think it's a waste of time story. I really do. Uh, we picked up Superior Foes of Spider Man issue three. Um, really enjoying this. Uh, it's weird. It's not doesn't really do anything. Um, nothing really happens. But it's just nice sort of following the day in the life of Boomerang really, and it's funny. And quirky, so it's good, it's worth picking up. We have Avengers Arena issue 15. <sighs> this wasn't too bad, an issue to be fair. This is a bit more like the, the original issues I remember. Um, it's starting to get a bit boring, needs, needs to sort of lighten itself up a bit. I believe it's finishing in issue 18 or issue 20. Um, I might drop it then. I've got to drop some books, so that might well be one of the ones I drop. Um, Superior Spider-Man issue 17 with Spider-Man 2099 on the front cover. We'll not be dropping this book, I love this book. 
and I'm really looking forward to the next issue where Spider-Man and Spider-Man get along, so to speak. So it's cool, you know. It's not going to stretch your imagination, but it is a good Spider-Man book. Infinity Book Two, really enjoying the storyline. Um, sometimes it does tend to uh, waffle on a bit about stuff it doesn't really need to go on about. Um, you sometimes feel it's a little bit overwritten. Um, they're trying to put 20 words instead of 10, there's no need for it. But it is very good and very enjoyable. And I am looking forward to the next part of this. Um, especially the end of this book, very, very good. And the times are very good for the series as well, which is very surprising. Um, Indestructible Hulk 13, Asian at the Time. Interesting down the bottom there. Asia Box 1 Aftermath. Um, it's alright, not too bad. Um, I kind of, but I enjoyed the first Agent of Time uh, and the second one. Um, this one I didn't enjoy as much. Um, it left me just a bit, you know, where they're going with Hulk. Um, it's not kind of Hulk. I want the storyline is not befitting of Hulk. I don't think. You know, it's good for a couple of issues, great. But now we're taking it to maybe a fourth issue with this Agent of Time stuff, and nothing's really happened. Um, he's just taking on this one guy called um, Kronos or whatever, I can't remember his name, but basically some guys jumping around in time trying to change the future. And Hulk's chasing him, trying to stop him changing the future. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing each, episode, each, each, each issue. Here, pull some people through time, here, beat these people up, here, stop them, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's a bit boring. Come on, this. I want to see Hulk have some, you know, epic battles, you know, I want to see him fight Abomination, I know it's been done a million times, but so what, it's Abomination, I want to see him take on Wolverine, um, we haven't seen Marvel Now's version of Hulk vs Wolverine, I want to do it, um, so yeah, a bit frustrated, I'm not going to drop it yet, um, you know, I'm going to ride this Agent of Time stuff out, hopefully, it's only got a couple more issues left of this Agent of Time stuff, and then we get back to some decent Hulk stuff, um, if it doesn't, then I may drop it, but that's a big if. Um, picked up the Hunt issue one. It's got Infinity across the top. Save your money, don't buy it. Um, it. They're trying to do a sort of Hunger Games that never happens because they can get invaded by Thanos. What a waste of time. It's rubbish. The art on it's not particularly great. It's, uh, it's a bit slapdash. The writing's not particularly great. It just feel, feels like someone's trying to pad out a comic book with rubbish and it's just a waste of your time. It's a waste of your money. Do not buy this book. Sorry. And Mighty Avengers issue one. Um, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got Spider Man. We've got Spider Man front cover. He doesn't do much in this issue. I'm sure he will next issue. Um, and to be honest, if it didn't have Luke Cage in this book, you would not be buying this book. It's not a great book. Um, the art's so-so. It's okay. Um, it's not amazing. Doing wrong. Millions of times better than what I can do, but it's just not great. Um, I'm not really fussed about it, to be honest. So I don't think I'm going to be picking up issue two of that. Um, Marvel were very clever. You know, they got these all these storylines going on at the moment with um, the Infinity War and stuff like that, and it's it's, it's very clever of them to tie in all the books, so it makes you want to buy these books. Um, but in a time when I'm trying to cut back on books, you know, I'll buy it because it's issue one, and I'm always willing to give any issue one a go. I think we should. But that is not worth a go. It is rubbish. Um, so don't bother. Save your money. Um, and last, uh, I showed this in the last video. For a readable, but I have read it now. Um, it was okay. They managed to accomplish quite a lot on one issue, I must say. Um, are we going to see Lex Luthor turn good? Um, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it was alright, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to issue two. Um, I still prefer Battle Down. That, that's my jam. Um, I prefer Battle Down to Infinity as well, actually. And that's, like I said, I think I'm purely because I'm so much involved with the X-Men storylines. So I really enjoy them. But overall, for Marvel, for me, generally, um, they're doing it for me at the moment and really digging their stuff. Um, and I think we've got some really good titles coming up soon. I think we've got um, a new Punisher miniseries coming out. Um, we've got a new... Um, I think we've got a new Marvel Knights Spider-Man miniseries coming out. 
Um, we've got a Phantom X miniseries coming out. Um, we've got the Inhumans and the Invaders being relaunched, I believe. Um, that's probably off the back of this Infinity War, I would imagine. Um, so this got some, got some great, great stuff coming up. And just when you're trying to cut books, they're bringing more stuff out, and it's oh, so frustrating. Um, especially when I've discovered other books like the Apple Cosmo put me on to Nova, so I'm picking up Nova now. That's an extra book I'm picking up, which will be dropping. Um, I just got into Captain America, Marvel Mouse, so that's two books I'm picking up now. Um, so I need to start, seriously need to start cutting some books. Um, I don't know where I'm going to start. I just don't know. You know, I'm tired of saying it on each video, I need to cut some books. Um, I'm getting so frustrated with it. But hey ho, that's where it is. Um, it's not a bad problem to have, I guess. It's better than, I remember back in the days when you can have a decent book. You'd be lucky if you've picked up four months, so very sport at the moment. And uh, I do appreciate all the good work these guys are doing for us. But that's it. That's my pick. That's my thoughts. Um, yeah, I'm going to crack on reading some uh, X-Men and Wolverine now. I'm trying to catch up with it because there's going to be a tie-in issue with the Infinity War. Uh, not Infinity War. I'm sorry. About the atom. It's going to be a tie-in issue, so I want to get that read up. I want to get up to date on that. Plus, I think we're going to see the Amazing X-Men launch soon with um, Nightcrawler comes back from another dimension or back from the dead, whatever. Um, probably back from the dead because, um, well, maybe, I'm just thinking, uh, in the Uncanny X-Men, there's a guy in there, I can't remember his character's name, um, but his ability is to heal people. And he's just found he has the ability to revive people from the dead. So that just opens up a whole world of options to bring back people from the dead. Um, so whoever you thought was dead in Marvel Universe may be coming back rather soon otherwise it's all good um, yeah so thanks for watching um, I will be posting another video up next week possibly um, until then see you later take care